Belgian city of St. Nicholas, with its approximately 77,000 inhabitants, has adopted an SUMP whose main objectives are to improve the quality of life in residential areas and to improve road safety. The SUMP aspires to make the inner city a more traffic calmed area, with priority given to cycling and walking. One of the flagship projects in the SUMP is the new pedestrian zone in the Stationstrat. As part of the reconstruction of the city core, development was extended from the main station towards the main square, Grote Markt. In the past, this was a one-way street for motorised traffic, with 85 on-street parking spaces. After the reconstruction, visitors can now stroll through this new pedestrianised shopping street for a distance of more than one kilometre. A focal point is an area with lots of green terraces, water features and street furniture. The loading zones on the street are used as bike parking areas, outside the hours when loading is permitted. A parking plan with differentiated tariffs is currently being implemented. Parking facilities on the outskirts of town are the lowest priced, where long-term parking will be encouraged. Parking on street will become more expensive than off-street parking, and on-street spaces will be dedicated to residents, paying special rates, and shoppers and visitors staying for a short while. This includes some very short-term on-street parking places, equipped with sensors where there is a 30 minutes free parking, nothing longer. One main step forward was to free the main square from parked cars, which have been moved to an off-street garage under this square. Public space was taken away from parked cars and given back to the people. Enforcement plays a crucial role in the success of parking management. Apps are used to check that parked cars have paid or have a permit. The concept of shared or multiple use parking has been put into practice here at Weifstraten. All on-street parking spaces were removed to free up space for cycle lanes. The city reached an agreement with the supermarket on the street so that residents can use its parking instead. So using a huge parking lot, private parking lot, to compensate for the lack of public space was a good solution to a problem that we had. But it wasn't more than that. I think we should move now to the next step and when starting projects or handling bigger neighborhood projects, we should always look at what private spaces there are available and can we use it, can we involve it in the bigger project so that we can make a difference for everyone and especially when we think about parking, cycling uh, facilities or room for pedestrians, that could be just the solution that you're looking for.